In this video, I want to do a quick review of the TAPO Smart Thermometer and Humidity Sensor. So this is a battery-powered sensor. It does require the TAPO Smart ITO Hub for it to work, but this little sensor tracks temperature and humidity, and all the data in it can be viewed on your phone in the TAPO app. So this device is about an inch and a half by an inch and a half, and it's a half an inch thick. In the box with the sensor, you get a quick start guide, and you also get some accessories. Nice loop if you want to hang it up, some 3M tape to stick it to a wall, something like that. And then you also get a key that allows you to open it up at the bottom and change the battery or reset it. On the front, you have a nice TAPO logo and there is a status LED. And then you mean to make sure that the grills at the very top are clear so that air can get in there so that it can sense the temperature. Once you get it set up, to access it, you just open up the TAPO app and then you'll see under sensors, the temperature gauge right there. You can then see a full history of the temperature. I had this out in my sunroom, no heat running. You can also see the humidity below. And one of the cool things you can do since you have this data in the app is you can use it to turn on or turn off other devices based on the room's temperature and humidity. So if maybe you wanna have a heater turn on when it gets too cold, you can do that. Or maybe you wanna have a dehumidifier turn on if it becomes too humid in the room. And to do that, you would just use the smart actions. As you can see, they use a humidity control there. Another aspect that I really like about this TAPO sensor is that if I go into the settings here, I can also change the operation mode. And as you can see, they have a high sensitivity mode and a balance mode where you can get more battery life out of it if you want to, but you can also have it be more accurate where if it senses a 3% change, it'll update it and send it to the hub, or you can save the battery by having it be a 6% change. Additionally in here, you can set your comfort zone, and this can be useful if you wanna get a notification when the temperature or humidity falls outside of your configured comfort zone. So if you wanted to use this for notifications to monitor something, that would be useful as well. Overall, I really like this device. As you can see, you get tons of data. It seems to be extremely accurate. I've tested it with another thermometer and it was very accurate. And it's also extremely easy to set up and I like that it's completely wireless with a battery. Overall, I would highly recommend it.